And this little setup right here, which of course suddenly you can't see, is all broken. There's the lean-to and there's the bushes. And there's the trail. I'm going to pause this. I started it again. So this is my Catahoula Kerr client, the one that always sights the forest when we go. He's my off-road buddy. Let me tell you that. He's a great trail walker. Okay, now I'm going back to pause. So there have been times in the past where I have been on this trail. And right up ahead of me here, and these bushes along the sides right there, I have smelled urine, strong urine, once or twice. Really strong, just in a certain spot as we walked along the trail. But that is a big, giant tree with lots of thick brush inside there, right next to a creek area with trout in it. How about that? Oh, look at there. There's a nice walkway right through there. Okay, back to pause, because I discovered the other day it doesn't do well to walk with a dog and film. Is that a tree stuck in another tree? Look at that, it sure is. Pause. Okay, so this is right about where I've smelled the urine in the past. And there's a nice trail right through here to that nice dark space right in there. Oh my goodness, there's another one of these piles of poo or something. What is that? I kicked that over with my foot and this came out of the ground. I can't really tell what that is. Stop, Zuka. Here, it sounds like a hawk, and there goes a little bird. But pretty much, other than this road sounds, it's super quiet through here. Pause. Okay, so this structure is right here beside the path. That branch is all interwoven into this branch. And so are all these other little pieces. There's another pile of that stuff. Poo with seeds and berries and bones and things in it. Never seen this before. Okay, so I was wondering what I would see. I believe in front of me are a couple of leaners. And then I saw one over here. There's a leaner. There used to be a lot of homeless people that went into these bushes along the creek here. And the state would come or the city would come and rent them out and then they'd come back. But this last time they ran them out, no one has come back. Look, there's a couple of dead leaners right there. And there's a big broken tree branch right there. It goes into that little hidey hole space over there. Let me see if I can zoom this in.
Okay, so there's the X, which you can clearly see. There's two of them there, a big one and a little one. Look right here, what's right beside it? A bent down, big old pile, holes for heads, next to an old tree, hidey hole. Oh, there's eyes in there. Hi, guys. Oh, no, there's no eyes. No, there's a face. Ah. Now there's another set of eyes. And the dog just alerted that there's something in the woods. Okay. That means there's something stuck in the tree around here somewhere. Usually. Okay. We're gonna keep walking. Now remember, this is a trail right next to a bunch of houses. Pause. And I walk this trail pretty regularly for the last year and a half. Some of these piles of bushes and these structures are new. It's okay, puppy. See like this one right here in front of me? That's an awfully thick structure. There's the broken log. Yep. Goes right into there. Right there. And the dog doesn't like it for some reason. I think we're gonna go back and put the dog away. Ooh, I heard something. Sounded like something walking. Hello, I come in peace. Hello, I know you're out there. I see your signs. Are you a good witch or a bad witch? LOL. There's another one of these turds. I just kicked it over. Another thing that's really eye-opening for me is I walk along that trail that's way back in the woods right there along the creek that's in there. Oh, look, there's a rock right there. Oh, look at that. Anyway, I regularly walk back in through there looking for rocks. And trees and occasional gold in the water. Oh, look at there. Right there. Pointing that way. Yippers. Right next to the rock. Okay. So I suspect that they walk along this waterway right in through here, which actually goes up into those mountains up there. This stuff must be some kind of fungus or something. There's another pile of it coming up out of the ground. So strange. Look at all these broken sticks. All the little broken grasses. Very interesting. These trails are not usually so worn down. Okay. Oh, something just moved in the woods. And the dog is on it. Look at that. Oh, he's backing up. He's backing up. I'm backing up. Off we go, you guys. Mentioned about the stone circles. Well, here where I live, there's a lot of stone circles in the ground. And that's what I have been told is because the Ohlone's, Ohlone Indians, the First Nations people that lived in this area, would make stone circles and then pile up branches to make little teepees to store their acorns, etc. So I often find stone circles out on our trails and in our woods. 
I did not know that the Sasquatch may also make stone circles. I'll have to do a little more investigating on that one. I can see why Sasquatch researchers have lots of video footage. <laughs> and I know some of you don't like the talking and the jerking, but I'm a beginner and I'm doing it on my cell phone till such time as I get a good camera. So yeah. I know they like when I sing, at least in certain places. I wonder if they would like it if I sang here. Hmm. Interesting. I still heard the walking, walking along beside me on the outer part of the trail in the woods. I gotta go, I gotta go home. I can see why people get lost doing this. It's just freaking amazing, pardon my French. Oh look, there's little signs on the ground here. Where is that one, can you see it? There, two different branches stuck right there. Coming up from that way. We're showing going that way. Oh, of course it shows going that way. Let me see. What else do we have? This is symbol. There's a Y branch in the trail there. And there's a couple of crossed over A branches right there. Even though it's not in the sky, it's still an A. Still hearing the walking. Okay. I gotta put the dog away. Well, there's a nice solid laner across that one. Right there. Yep. Aloha. I'm almost where I need to be, but I wanted to show you this. That broken down wood pile stuff is all new. And we are still hearing walking in the bushes over there. I wonder what they make of all that noises we make. All our road noises. Oh, look right over there. There's a curve. It goes. Is that it? I can't tell. There it is. There's more curves which go right through there on the trail. I was just walking back in there last week before I became really aware of all the Bigfoot signs. Now I'm like, I got the willies, I don't want to walk back there, but yet I do want to walk back there. Oh. Okay, thank you. Over and out.